Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here today answering questions for you guys. Today's question is on batting practice at the major league level. You know, how long is it? Is that the only time you hit? Do you take it every day? And so we'll kind of get into those um, questions right now. I'll do my best to answer them for you. So batting practice at the major league level, you're, you're usually going to hit batting practice on the field most days. Um, the only time you typically don't is if you have some type of crazy um, travel schedule going on, um, maybe you know it's it's op it's either optional um, or you'll hit in the cage at the stadium. But pretty much you're going to hit on the field um, every single day. Uh, what you do is you hit before games. Obviously, there's no practice in the major leagues. I get asked this all the time, like, when do you guys practice? There's no real practice because you're playing every single day. And if you don't have a game, if you have an off day, there's the team isn't going to come in and have a practice. Like you can come in if you want and hit on your own, but there's never going to be a team practice. So BP is before games. All right. If you're at home, you're going to hit, you'll be the first team to hit say around like four o'clock or so. Uh, if you're on the road, you're going to hit after that, uh, after the home team. Okay. So you'll hit like five or five something. All right. Um, it's not the only time you hit. So most guys, I shouldn't say most guys, every guy, is going to come in and hit in the cage and get loose before they hit on the field and hit BP. Right? Everybody has their own routine, so you're going to come in, you're going to get, you know, whether it's T work or front flips or maybe hit off the machine a little bit, um, you're going to do something. Some guys do all of that before the game. So you're going to come in and do that in the batting cage, and then you're going to go out and hit with the team. Now, batting practice with the team is um, pretty much similar to probably what most guys do if you're a college player. Um, you know, high school, some teams do it in high school. Some teams don't have the time because games are right after school. But you're, there's going to be probably, say, like four groups. You're going to have typically the starters in the first couple of groups. And then that last group is going to be or last couple groups is going to be non-starters. So guys that aren't playing that day. You're probably going to take, you know, every team's a little bit different, but you're going to take probably about 30 swings in the cage or so. You're probably going to have, say, five rounds of probably like six to seven swings um, around. And so it's not a ton of reps. That's why you get a lot of your other work done before um, or even after BP. Some guys will go and hit in the cage a little bit again, you know, but you're probably going to hit about 30, 35 swings or so on the field. Um the way batting practice happens at the big league level is usually you'll have a, a different coach throw every round. So a lot of times in, in high school, you may have the same coach throwing to everybody. Um, you know, in the major leagues, you're going to usually have a different coach throwing every round. Um, sometimes you might have a coach that takes multiple rounds. Um, you're going to usually, like I said, you get about 30, 35 swings, five rounds typically. And so you're going to get six to seven swings around. So it's not like you just get in there and just hit until you feel good. Okay, guys, I'm good and go in. Like you're going to take six or seven swings, you know, lay down a bunch or so, take six or seven swings, get out, let the next guy get in, wait your turn to come around, going to go back in there. Some teams do different situational hitting things. You know, most teams do. So, you know, you'll maybe the first round is, you know, lay down a, a, a sacrifice bunt and then do a hit and run and do five or six regular swings. And then the next round might be, you know, we'll lay down a bunt for a hit or something, or maybe another sack bunt to the other line. And then you're going to move a guy over from second um, and then take your normal swings. And then you, you'll typically have situational stuff with a man on third. So it's like infield in or infield back, um, you know, just hit the ball in the air, hit the ball on the ground in the middle of the field you know, maybe a squeeze. And so you're going to kind of go through that routine. You usually don't just get up there and swing away and just try to hit homers. Um, although some guys do, um, but you're going to have some type of plan to work on and then you'll take your normal swings. Um, so that's pretty much how batting practice works. Once batting practice is done, again, you're going to go in and you're going to, you know, get a bite to eat, maybe get uh, jump in the hot tub or do whatever. I, I talk about a lot of guys shower. It's weird. I know, but I used to take a shower after BP um, and then get redressed again for the game. A lot of guys do that. The other thing with batting practice is a lot of guys, um, especially on the road in the major leagues, you'll have early batting practice. So before you even, you know, way before regular BP. So I said the home team hits first and then the away team hits. Well, on the road, you, the away team get early batting practice where you can come in and hit at like one o'clock. You'll be able to go on the field. Um, when I was a, a rookie, you know, rookies, young guys, it's not mandatory, but it kind of is for the young guys who are expected to be on the, to be out there hitting. Not every single day, 
Um, but I used to go out a lot and do the early BP. So you do early BP on the field and then you come in, maybe do a little bit of work in the cage and then you go back out for your normal BP. So it's a lot of swings. Um, but that's how batting practice works at the major league level. And it's pretty similar at the minor league level. It's, um, you know, most of the stuff is exactly the same. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share it with all your friends. Um, check out our Instagram, Antonelli Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Matt Antonelli 9. I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.